Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now's live coverage of Snowflake Summit in Las Vegas, the world's largest data and AI conference. I'm now joined by Frank Slootman, Chairman and CEO of Snowflake, along with Matthew Scullion, Founder and CEO of Matillion. Gentlemen, such a pleasure having you on the program. It's great to be here, Ryan. Thank you very much. Thank you, Frank, as well. Of course. Looking forward to this conversation, gentlemen. Let's start off with the partnership. What is in it for customers? Frank, if you'd like to start. Well, you know, the partnership is important because there's things that Matillion does that Snowflake customers need. Um, you know, the data does not originate in Snowflake, it originates in all kinds of other, you know, source systems. And, you know, Matillion has been instrumental, you know, not just in accessing it, um, but in, you know, all the things that need to happen you know, before the data actually, you know, lands in Snowflake. So the data engineering, you know, track is really critical. It's the ease of use, it's the performance of it, it's the economics of it. It's, it's not a trivial part of running a data operation. So um, we really appreciate it being part of Matillion, um, you know, all these years. Matthew, would love your perspective as well. I mean, I think everything Frank said is right. And for me, the thing that I value most, perhaps about the Snowflake partnership is how well the companies line up. Snowflake's done an amazing job, a generational job of building a platform, um, a, a, a cloud data platform. And I think if you look at how well the industry has done in data integration, kind of in the first innings, we perhaps together didn't um, do a great job of building out a cohesive platform orientated towards making life easy for the customer and uh, making them as productive as possible. Matillion's the data productivity cloud, it's a platform about making data teams wildly productive at delivering use cases and workloads on Snowflake. And so a platform for data productivity, along with a platform for the data cloud, it's a great partnership. And that's why we share over 1,100 customers together, many of them that are here this week. Um, Snowflake are investors in Matillion, which we're very happy and proud about. It's a great partnership. Gentlemen, great to have your collective perspectives on the partnership. So many exciting things are happening with Snowflake and Matillion. Matthew, some exciting news um, recently announced with Matillion. Can you talk to us about the newly launched Matillion Data Productivity Cloud and what excites you about this next chapter? Very recent. Uh, we launched the Data Productivity Cloud here at Snowflake Summit yesterday morning. Um, so the Data Productivity Cloud is, we think, what the industry has been asking for. Uh, it's an integrated, cohesive platform that gives data teams everything they need to move, transform, and orchestrate data in the cloud and on Snowflake. Um, uh, we've been working towards this moment for a number of years. Uh, today, tens of thousands of people use Matillion's technology to make their data business ready faster. And we've sunk all that experience and use of feedback into this new product. There's a couple of design goals we were working really hard to meet. Uh, one is to make it exquisitely easy to launch, like Snowflake is, right? And um, uh, uh, we called that 10 minutes to wow. Um, in the event, we did a little better than that. It's about three and four minutes. But you can go from our website, matillion.com, to having a working live data pipeline, not just movement either, movement, transformation, orchestration, in three or four minutes. Uh, and as you do that, it will also stand up a Snowflake data warehouse for you to make sure you've got somewhere to put your data. It's unlimitedly scalable. Um, and we've also built it in a way that we call everyone ready, which means that it suits the uh, low code, no code visual user, which we think is really important because it gets more players on the field in terms of who can make data business ready. But it also supports data engineers and high code users using technologies like DBT. So we're really proud to launch it here at Snowflake Summit. Snowflake is our launch partner with it. Uh, over 150 people have signed up already, so that's quite a good sign um, with only a few hours uh, under its belt. And uh, yeah, we're really excited about it. Glad to hear it's happening at Snowflake Summit. The buzz is all around us. Top of mind across the board is Gen AI and LLMs at Summit here. For both of you, how will AI change the role of data teams in business? Frank, would love to hear your thoughts. Well, you know, I'm not sure that it, uh, it changes them fundamentally, it just amps it up to uh, coin a term. It's becoming far more important 
than it already was. And, and the reason is you need a data strategy in order to have an AI strategy. You cannot skip your data strategy right. and move straight to AI. What are you going to do? You know, just kind of flip a switch and just wait for the insights to, to, uh, to, to come in. You know, it's a great vision, but the reality of data is it's a heck of a lot of work you know, underneath the covers that needs to, needs to take place. The data needs to be organized, needs to be optimized, needs to be curated, needs to be trusted. It should be sanctioned, right? We want to have good results. We need to have, you know, good inputs. So, in that sense, you know, the role of the data engineer has become, you know, 10x more important right. than it already was, right? So, hence the importance, you know, people like Matillion, you know, to help them, you know, basically take up their game, you know, where they can sort of meet that challenge and that standard. Uh, data engineers have become the coolest people in town, right? It's uh, Everybody wants to do AI, um, but the enabling work that we have to do to make AI happen, exactly as Frank said, is making the data, we call it making the data business ready, but really it's making the data AI ready. Um, and in a typical use case, that's 80% of the work. Sorry, Frank. Yeah, now I look, you know, uh, this morning in the keynote um, for the developers, right, it's showing data engineers building and deploying applications. When did you last see that? <laughs> okay, the data engineers like, hey, you mind your own business. You know, data is your world. Software engineers, you leave all that stuff to us. No more, because we, we bring the entire stack, you know, in terms of Snowpark, programmability layer, streamlit, the visualization animation layer, the ability to deploy. Um, so it's a very different world. You know, we have function, you know, we have data, but in the cloud, you know, function and data live very, very close together. And that's a big change from where we've been. You know, gentlemen, it's been great to get your perspectives on, on the current state of the industry. Now I want to look towards the future. What's next for Snowflake and Matillion? Matthew, let's start with you. So there's so much exciting stuff to talk about in this area. We just touched on AI. And when we're in a world where suddenly our parents and grandparents are asking us about chat GPT, uh, the demand for data use cases and workloads is growing logarithmically. Um, but our ability and resource levels to make data business or AI ready in response to that uh, um, isn't growing. We're, we've not suddenly got four times as many data engineers. That presents an amazing opportunity uh, to try and square that circle, to make that algebra stack up by radically improving the productivity of data teams. And that's why our company exists and why we're so excited about the data productivity cloud. Even more excited than I am about this microphone. Um, the, um, I mean, specifically uh, what we've been talking about as Summit, um, the uh, Snowpark containers is huge for us. Uh, our unlimited scalability technology works by uh, bursting uh, the workload of your data pipelines onto containers. Getting that into Snowpark containers just massively simplifies the security and governance story for our customers, so we're really excited about that. Very excited to be um, a launch partner on native apps. You know, I mentioned earlier that I think in the kind of first innings of cloud data integration, we've ended up with a slightly fragmented industry where you go here to load the data, here to transform the data, a load of skills to stitch it together. Simplifying that into the platform and putting, for instance, the data movement into Snowflake with native apps, that's huge for customers, and so we're excited about that as well. And AI, of course, everything has got the word AI. Uh, how do Snowflake uh, and, uh, and also Matillion become part of the reference architecture for how the most ambitious data teams in the world deliver AI in their organizations? That's what I'm excited about. Hardly anything at all, right? <laughs> and Frank, when you look out on the horizon, what do you see? Yeah, let, let, me, let me give Matthew some props here, okay? Because we, we met like a year ago uh, at, a, at an Amazon re-event, uh, and he, he asked me, you may not remember this, but you asked me, like, what, what do I do you know, to align better you know, with Snowflake? What, what, what can I do? And I said at the time, you need to become a native app. <laughs> and uh, because you fully lean in and you create a seamless experience, you know, and you avoid these you know, fractured tool chain type of issues and all these governance violations that are implicit in it and so on. He says, you, you, you're going to get you know, much better draft of our footprint and everything that we do, and you know, to your credit, you did exactly that. Not everybody does that, right? Fully leaning in 
to the Snowflake platform. 85% of its customers are also Snowflake customers. It, it takes some conviction on the part of an entrepreneur and the CEO to say, you know what? Instead of being in 50 places, I'm going to pick my horse <laughs> and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to set in on all of it and r run it and ride it. You know, and that's what you've done. And I I find that. Uh, I find it admirable, and uh, it's a message to everybody here on the show floor. It works so. as well. I mean, you and I were having dinner last <laughs> night. I should point out this wasn't a romantic one-on-one. -on -one. There were other people there. Um, but there was a bunch of our joint customers there, you know, Western Union, who this time last year we were, uh, we, I think we had up on this stage actually talking to about their use case, a joint Snowflake Matillion customer, EDF, uh, we had here yesterday. And one of the things that they talk about is the deep integration between the two platforms. EDF was saying, look, we're pretty bullish about it. We want fewer products, not more. Our data productivity platform is Matillion and our data cloud is Snowflake. And so it makes sense for me to lean into it. The other thing you asked for was an SAP connector and I built that as well. Yes. <laughs> Listen, gentlemen, it is a true partnership. Congratulations to both Matillion and Snowflake. Thank you so much for joining me on Data Cloud Now. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Ryan. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon. Yeah.